Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're making an IoT sign with NeoPixels and CircuitPython. We made a wooden sign with LED strips that can display scrolling text from Adafruit IO. You can create a dashboard and update the text with your mobile device. With the color picker, you can change the color of the text so you can easily customize your message. The Pixel Framebuff library for CircuitPython makes it easy to create custom LED matrices using NeoPixels. The Metro ESP32 S2 has built-in Wi-Fi and CircuitPython support. It's housed in a 3D printed enclosure and secured to the wooden frame. The CircuitPython libraries from Adafruit make IoT projects like this really easy to get up and running. The demo code uses the Adafruit I.O. library to get the text and color data from the feeds we set up in our dashboard. It's a nice example for displaying scrolling text on NeoPixels using data from Adafruit I.O. We made the sign in Fusion 360 and created a parametric design that's pretty easy to put together. The LED strip holders are designed with user parameters so we can quickly change and update the dimensions. To make the sign, we cut a sheet of wood to make a panel for holding the LED strips. You can get a full list of plans and step-by-step -step instructions from our learn guide. Links are in the description. We used a miter saw to cut down these boards to make a frame for the panel. To secure the boards together, we used basic butt joints and a nail gun. We designed and 3D printed brackets so the frame can easily be placed over the panel. The brackets are secured to the frame using screws and the LED panel fits over them nicely. The LED panel hangs over the leg frame with additional mounting brackets. When using a power drill, pilot holes should be made to ensure the screws are driven in straight. The legs are fitted into the bottom base and the LED panel hangs over the frame of the legs. The sign is modular so it can be stored away without taking up too much space. These 3D printed holders are chained together and secured to the panel with screws. The LED strips are press fitted through the clips and have a tight fit so they're kept nice and straight. This 12x12 grid of NeoPixels is arranged with the data flowing in a zigzag pattern. The LED strips are soldered together using silicone wires and insulated with heat shrink tubing. With the frame fitted over the panel, the wiring is neatly covered up and looks really nice while being discreet. We had a lot of fun working on this project and hope it inspires you to check out CircuitPython. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe, and we hope you make an awesome new year.